hey, look, a haircut. I know I got a haircut, look good, feel good. Well, I know I constantly have some dark circles under my eyes. It's something I've dealt with a lot, but I wanted to show you guys how to remove those in Photoshop very quickly. So I got a photo of a guy that I want to edit real quick. I want to show you guys how to do this. If you guys ever have a photo of yourself or a client or somebody that you know, and you want to remove dark circles, I'm going to show you how to do that in Adobe Photoshop. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so I've already downloaded the photo. So what I need to do is hit Control N or Command N. You can also do that by going up here to the file new, but I've been doing this for such a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and commit actually Command O because I've already downloaded my image. I'm going to pull that image open. So see this guy here, he's got some dark circles under his eyes. We're going to get rid of those and we're going to make him look a lot better. Now, it's not as bad as some cases. I think mine can even be darker at times when I'm not getting very much sleep, which has kind of been the case for me lately. So what we're going to do first, as you can see here, I have my layers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer. Once I've duplicated the layer, I'm going to go ahead and hit new layer in between. This is layer two. Now what I need to do is I need to click on this layer. I'm going to go over to filter and I'm going to hit convert for smart filters. Once I've done that, it's not going to make that edible. It's going to turn it into a smart object. Once I've done that, I want to go over to filter again, and I want to hit other, and I want to hit high pass. We've done this once before. What you want to do is bring this all the way down to 0 0.01, 0 0.1, right? And we're going to bring this up until we start to see those circles under the eyes, okay? So we're going to wait till it comes up. Whoops, that was a little too far. We're going to see those little circles under the eyes. Okay, there we go. I can see it. I'm going to set this to basically four. I can see that there. Okay, now that we've got that set to four, what we want to do is we want to go here and hit overlay to the blending modes, overlay. And now we're going to go in between layer one and layer, or yeah, this layer one smart filter and layer two. We're going to hit alt or option and we're going to actually overlay that in there. Now that we've done that, this is where we're going to actually start to have some fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit layer two. We're going to go over and click the eyedropper. And now that you've got the eyedropper tool, we need to do it five by five is the sample size. And we want to sample uh, current and below. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to go over to our pen tool. We're probably going to want to adjust our flow just to kind of give you a heads up on this. So we're going to bring this down to probably about 10%. I'm guessing because we're going to want to make this smooth. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit Alt or Option right there. And we're going to sample a brighter area. I think probably this area or maybe like this right here, we're going to sample that. Now we're going to actually make this a little bit bigger. I can adjust just my opacity a little bit, or I can adjust my smoothing, but I think I'm going to keep it here. And we're going to go ahead and brush right in here and see what happens. Look at this. Wow. And we can do that again. I can sample a different area I can go a little lower and I can start to really blend this and really brighten up underneath his eyes. Now we want it to make it look natural and not too dark. But I'm going to go ahead and do that over here. Same thing. I'm going to bring this up probably right here. I'm going to go ahead and start getting rid of these dark circles under his eyes. This is a really nice effect to do. Somebody's got dark circles. I'm going to come in here. I want to adjust this just a little bit. Come in here again. Adjust that a little bit. And you can make you can really make this look really nice the more you play with it. Really smooth out the skin. Again, you want to make this look natural, not too off. Now, if you look at the before and the after, look at that. Look at the difference. And you can really get fine with this. I could even come up a little bit higher here and select this and come up and just really fine tune this right here. Same thing here. Just really fine tune it. I'm still seeing some darkness under there. There we go. There we go. Look at the difference that makes. Totally different, way healthier. I need to do this to myself. It's a lot of my photos, but that's what I wanted to show you guys how to quickly do this in Photoshop. And I'm sure you may be able to do this. Maybe you can even do it better now that you know how to do this very quickly. But if you want to get rid of the dark circles under the eyes, this is the quickest and the best way to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boycell. I'll see you guys on the next video. And until then, as always, keep looking up.